Welcome to your Colorado rafting experience. This is a short safety video to explain some of the guidelines of rafting down a river. In this video, the Crash Dummies will help us go over some of the basics of whitewater rafting. Topics will include proper usage of personal flotation devices, or PFDs, paddling instruction, what to do if someone falls in the river, possible hazards, and some general river guidelines. Personal flotation devices, or PFDs, will need to be worn by everyone on the trip. They need to be worn at all times when you are on the river, and need to be buckled up and adjusted correctly. Select the correct size vest. Make sure that each buckle is securely buckled and the strap is tightened snugly. Have a partner check to make sure you can't pull the vest over your head. If you have a hard time figuring out how to put on the vest, please ask a guide for assistance. While in the raft, you'll be sitting on the outer tube with both feet inside the boat. You can stabilize yourself by securing your feet under the center tubes or in the foot cups if available. If you're paddling, be sure to bend from the waist. And always keep a hand on top of the T-grip of the paddle. A swinging T-grip can be a very dangerous thing around others. If someone next to you falls into the river, listen for instructions. You may be asked to assist in getting them back into the boat. Put down your paddle. Make eye contact. Then reach over, grab them by the shoulders of the PFD, and fall backwards into the raft. If you find yourself in the river, give a yell. This will help alert your raft mates as well as ensuring a nice deep breath. Even on a warm day in the middle of summer, Colorado rivers are very cold. Get out as soon as possible. An aggressive self-rescue is considered a good rescue. If you happen to fall in and are still close to the boat, reach up, grab the boat, and pull yourself back in. Someone may reach a paddle out to you. However, if you find yourself in the water and out of reach of the boat, immediately start to swim back to the boat or to the shore, whichever is closest. If possible, swim in an upstream diagonal direction, and don't forget to use your legs and kick. In some cases, someone may toss you a throw bag and yell, rope. This will usually come from the shore, but may come from the boat. When this comes near, you be sure to grab the rope and not the bag. Place the rope over your shoulder with your feet downstream. Make sure you can be free from the rope if you choose. Do not wrap the rope around your neck or any other body part. But again, swimming toward a boat or shore is your best method of self-rescue. However, unlikely if you find yourself heading towards a fallen tree or a group of trees, do whatever you can to avoid contact with it. These are called strainers and they're very dangerous. If you cannot avoid the strainer, swim aggressively toward it and climb on top of it with all your might. Do not try to go under it. Never stand up in a moving current. Wait until you touch the shore before attempting to stand. While in the current, a foot can become lodged between rocks and other debris, causing foot entrapment. It is possible that your raft may come into contact with obstacles on the river. Your guide may yell, hold on, or bump. In this case, secure yourself and move toward the center of the boat. If your guide yells, high side, move quickly to the high, dry tube of the boat. Usually this will be the side of the boat that had come into contact with an obstacle which will be on the downstream side. In the unlikely chance that the raft does flip, don't panic. If you find yourself under the raft, just use your arms to walk yourself out to the edge. And don't forget to keep your feet up. Even if you are under an overturned raft, be sure to move out from underneath. There are many ways to enjoy the river. Although your watercraft may differ in shape, style, or configuration, the same safety tips and recommendations apply to whichever method of river floating you will be experiencing. If you are interested in any other methods of river adventure, please ask your raft guide for recommendations. Boating is an outdoor activity that has inherent risks which you are assuming. Please read and understand the release of liability before signing. It is your responsibility to ask questions if you have any. Paying attention to these few tips and warnings will help you enjoy and be prepared for your rafting experience in Colorado. We, we hope, hope you have, have an, an enjoyable, enjoyable and safe visit. visit.